Hi, I'm Dala and I'm out here today with the Body EV. I mean, look at this thing. This, I'm honestly more interested in this than I would be in a Lamborghini. This is the old OG EV that started the EV revolution in Oslo back in 2005-2006 and I mean, just look at it. It's so tiny. It's a tiny nugget chic box car. It's rear wheel drive and oh my god, it's so fun to drive. I mean, let's let's go and take a closer look at it. So well, why do I have this car? Well, some local students at a university were doing a thesis on replacing the batteries uh, in an EV. So I was kind of the advisor on this, or like a technical advisor on this project. So this car originally came with lead acid batteries and they were fitted like uh, under the seats and up in the front. And this vehicle weighs around 400 kilograms, but the lead acid batteries, they weighed probably close to over 300 kilograms. So by installing lithium batteries, the weight now is probably like combined weight of the vehicle and batteries probably under 500 kilograms or 500 kilograms ish um, so yeah like I mentioned batteries here uh, let's pop the hood so I can show you that that's done by pulling this uh, lever down here so let's go and see here I'm gonna show you um, so <laughs> under here uh, we have some more batteries here in this uh, plastic container this is also where some of the original batteries were and next to it there's a tank uh, for hvo diesel uh, because this one has a diesel heater it doesn't really have any any heating like a, in a normally ev you would have a ptc heater or a heat pump but this one is so basic so yeah if you need heat uh, you gotta get it that way and <laughs> that's such an old school way to heat it but oh man this thing is so fun to drive another thing that's really fun is this old school dash i mean look at it it looks like something straight out of a tractor or something futuristic at the same time but fortunately you don't have to rely on that that's mostly for lead acid batteries uh, you can look at the bms now that's fitted we have a phone here uh, you can look at the individual cells and you can look at state of charge percentage etc so that makes it a bit easier to use this car uh, i mean you saw in the video you can like park this uh, like in between two cars where there's a really tight space you can just drive it the wrong way into the parking spot and still fit and i don't know if you can see this but there's space enough here for three people inside it three people what it even has storage space uh, back here if we open the boot uh, you can actually see here um, here is the actual charger that's used to charge the high voltage batteries uh, You can see the plug comes out here and then it goes into a uh, normal kind of engine block heating socket and uh, This one you can then connect to a normal outlet and you can charge it I think the charging speed is at around 2 kilowatts. So yeah, it's a uh, quite old charger, but it still works and there's some space here also uh, to fit some stuff so yeah surprisingly convenient uh, for everyday life why am i so interested in this car well uh, it's basically the car that started the ev revolution in norway so back in 2005 2006 there were not so many evs so uh, this body was made in norway and uh, you could get this one and you could uh, drive for free in the bus lanes and you wouldn't have to pay uh, road tolls so there was a massive incentive to get an EV and this was way before the Teslas or Nissan Leafs came along and you all know that story but this is so cool to look at this piece of automotive history and like I mentioned it's a nugget it's rear wheel drive it has 13 kilowatts of power, so just under 20 horsepower, and it's so much fun to drive. It has a top speed of 80 kilometers per hour, and that's freaking insane, because it's made out of glass fiber, and like, I, I wouldn't even want to drive it 80 kilometers per hour. I like to keep it in city speeds and just, yeah, it's insane to even think about going that fast in this car. And yeah, it's registered as a as a quad bike. Uh, it's not a car, so yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's so much fun. So what is it like to drive the body EV? 
Well, in uh, a few words, it's noisy, it's fun, and yeah, I'll just drive for a bit and show you. Whee! We have winter tires on it, and you can hear everything inside. When you're driving the body, it feels like everyone is staring at you, and they probably are. Whoa! <laughs> 13 kilowatts! <laughs> I, I just can't stop smiling. I, I think I've said it so many times now, but it is true. Oh man. Oh, uh, I think I'm gonna have to return this car to its owner and uh, I'm I don't want to. I want to keep this car because it's it's so much fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed this odd review video. I don't usually do videos like this, but yeah. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.